I wasn't going to do a review because I've just been to see a play, not a film, but I went to see a play in the cinema. And then also I remembered that it's my YouTube channel, so I make the rules. And I remember that there's videos on there that aren't about films at all, or theatre. So here I am. Um, I've just come out of the cinema. I went to see a National Theatre live performance of Prima Facie. This Facie, yeah, Prima Facie. Um, and this is a new play and a one-woman show starring Jodie Comer. And I'd seen it advertised. I've been, I think we've been in London a fair bit lately. Um, and there were posters up on the tube. Um, and I knew that it had been playing in cinemas, but I thought I'd missed the chance to see it. So when it was on tonight, I was like, Do you know what, I'm going to go because I, I am intrigued. Um, it was quite expensive. Um, my limit list doesn't cover theatre stuff, so I had to pay 20 quid, um, which felt extortionate until I watched it. And then I was like, no, that's a totally fair price for what I've just seen because I wouldn't have got a chance to see it in London. Um, it's one of the most powerful things I've ever seen. And I don't say that lightly. Um, it really is something quite phenomenal. Um, it is the story of Tess, Tessa, she's a barrister, a defence barrister, so she defends people, including bad guys. And then one night, she herself is the victim of a sexual assault. And it's then about how she feels being on the other side, being sat in the witness box. I, I just like I can't I can't I actually can't with Jodie Comer so like she appeared in Killing Eve playing Villanelle I've only ever watched the first series of that I might get around to the others at some point and I was late to it but then I watched it and I was like oh this woman is exceptional and then she was on the BAFTAs she had this really 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 broad Scouse accent and my mind exploded. Yes, I get that. She's an actor. I get that. Actors use accents and voices and obviously I know from seeing her play Villanelle there's all manner of accents at work there and I, I knew none of them were hers but I didn't expect it to sound like that. And she's just been consistently brilliant in everything she does. Um, I don't know how old she is but I don't feel like she's very old. Um, she's still quite early in her career and this is her on stage for a hundred minutes with no interval and she's the only person in the play just her and I, I've never seen a, a one person show before I've heard of them of course and I've seen maybe like two handers but I've never seen anything that's just one woman for an hour and 40 minutes um, there is a brief spell where she leaves the stage for maybe a couple of minutes there's still stuff happening on the stage and um, visuals but other than that she's just on stage and she's talking or performing for a hundred minutes and it's I, I don't know how a person would find the energy to do that and the focus and the amount of times when she was on the brink of tears and because we're watching a theatre production being broadcast in the cinema we've got a real close-up of her face and I can see tears in her eyes not fake stagey, you know, like they would do for a TV show where they could sort of squirt something in your eye or you might have a moment to sort of work yourself up. As she's performing, she can bring on tears. She starts out the opening gambit. She's in court. She's demonstrating how she plays the game and her accent is quite well spoken. And then it gets progressively more scout. She comes out of court. She gets on the train to go and see her mum back at home. It's just, I've just never seen anything like it. And it was really upsetting. There was lots of trigger warnings. Um, it is a project that is supporting the school consent program, which is where actual barristers and legal students go into high schools and explain to 11 to 18 year olds what consent means. 
what is the definition of consent how does the law see consent you know what does it actually mean when is it sexual harassment when is it rape and yeah it's just got it's got my head just spinning with just all the all, all the injustices all the women who weren't believed all the women who've been told but you'd had a drink but you invited him back but you'd slept with him before it doesn't mean that that person who you've slept with before or is a friend or is a, even a partner it doesn't mean that it can't be rape in that scenario if you don't consent then it's assault but it's such a murky grey area so I'm really glad I spent the money I'm really glad I came to see it it was, it was lots I mean it was the smallest screen they have here but it was a lot of people in there um, it was completely silent which I really appreciated um, until a woman to the left of me dropped her crutches towards the end which startled me um, but yeah it's definitely something I would do again I'd be choosy about what I see if it's going to cost me 20 quid a time I know that's cheaper than going to London and going to the theatre um, but it's definitely something I would do again because it's given me the opportunity to see a play that was fascinating and upsetting and just a performance which I won't recover from for quite some time and that's not something I would have been able to do so I am absolutely glad that I did it um, and I look forward to seeing more theatre stuff soon. Um, I'll come back and see an actual film soon too. But thanks for listening. Katie out.